All right, I'm gonna go over how to make sure that you can, or at least hopefully that this is a fix for Relay um, if you can't find your class in Relay. So for this year, um, this is normally an issue if you've already used it. If this is your first year using it, you probably will not encounter this, but this is something you should do at the end of the year. Uh, to make sure that the next year you don't have issues. And that's for everybody. If you don't do this, then your classes might interfere with other people's classes. So this is actually pretty super important to do um, so that you don't interfere with other classes. And if you, if anybody says you're interfering with their class because it'll say such and such is blocked, then you need to go in and do this to fix it. So that because if you were to try to block, like some students will be able to access things that the teacher tries to block because they're still, because you haven't um, gone through this process. So very important to do this. And if you have a teacher where it says so-and-so blocked this, or if you're trying to block something and the student still has access, they're logged in with their school account and it should be working, then chances are another teacher has it set to, for example, none. And it's conflicting. So you'll want to send, and you can have, uh, I do have the email of the, um, guy for Johnston County who's in charge of this that can check in the background. Um, but you can also see essentially if you ask the student, who did you have last year? And then um, you, you know, uh, you can either forward them this video and they essentially need to go in or what's going to happen is that the uh, essentially the person will go in and delete the, and out archive the Google Classrooms and stuff. So unless you want somebody digging around in your previous classes, uh, you might want to make sure you do this. And it's not something that like I could do if another teacher did it. So this is not something you can put on somebody else. All right. So I just opened a retired class that I had created. Um, this was just some random Google Classroom. Nobody joined, but which is good because I didn't want any student names in here. So I have this opened and right now I do have my current class. Uh, and I did have multiple other classes all the way down that are, um, that were in here. You also want to archive your Google classrooms. If you are not using them this year, you need to archive them. So you need to go into Google. And I think, so if I go into, let's say, classes and I go to this dashboard. When you're here, you need to click on, I think this guy. Yeah. So these dots, and then you click archive. And you need to archive it. This is another thing you need to do at the end of the year. It's one of those things that you just need to do. Otherwise you're going to mess with other teachers, um, classes, uh, and it can even extend to other counties. So yeah, <laughs> make sure you do this. Uh, okay. So we go in here and so this class, let's say it's done, right? I'm going to go into, uh, manage and in here, I'm going to first click here and I'm going to go into settings first. And I just stuck in some settings today uh, and I'm going to click reset schedule. And that'll put everything at nothing. Uh, so make sure you do that before you hide it. Just go in, click that. Now, once I've done this, I'm going to go back. You can also go back in here and go back, no, back in here and click manage. Actually, that's what I'm going to have to do because that back did not help me out at all. So once you've reset that, then you're going to go to the dots and you're going to click hide. 
and now it's going to be gone. And so you'll only see the classes you have now. So it depends how many you have. You might have to do this for, I don't know how many classes. I had, hang on. So if I click on hidden classes, I had like a bunch um, that I had hidden, but I didn't reset the schedule. And I really think that that is going to be a pretty big help. So you do, I, I would highly suggest doing that and not just hiding them. So it just puts everything back to kind of neutral and it will not interfere with anybody. It's also helpful if you go into it. Let me go into hidden and go to that retired. So I go to the retired class. Let me go to show. Uh, it's another thing I would make sure to do is go into it. So hang on. I'm going to go back here and make sure the web rules are all set to none so that you do not interfere with other um, classes. So I went in and every single one I changed it to none to make sure that my web rules do not apply to other classes. A lot of this is just kind of programming stuff and it's in the background and I probably could explain it if I knew the programs they were using to code uh, these things, um, but I'm not sure on that. So, and probably most people do not <laughs> want a large coding explanation, <laughs> um, but I could do that, but I'm not going to make you suffer through that. Um, and I'm not going to look it up and make you suffer through that. So again, we're going in here and I'm just going to hide it and it's going to be gone. And then you should be able to just see your newest stuff. It really helps you find it and cleans everything out and keeps it from having to sync everything else.